Hello, for today's video lecture, we're looking at the moment of force about a point, and this one we're specifically looking at the vector calculations. Um, so, again, as a short review, uh, the moment of a force uh, is the tendency of that force to cause a rotation in the body that's being applied to. Uh, so if we had some force uh, applied on this box, it's on an icy surface here, if we apply it in the center, we notice the whole box just slides, but if we apply it on one of the sides, the box would not only slide, but it'd start to rotate as well as we push it. And the tendency of that force to cause that rotation is the moment that we're gonna see here. All right, so the moment of a force about a point, the vector calculation serves as an alternative to the scalar calculations that we usually are talking about earlier. Uh, so the vector calculation uh, tends to be slower with simple problems, but when we get to more complex problems, it actually ends up being faster. Um, so, <clears throat> we're going to use a vector operation, specifically the cross product, uh, as a way to find the magnitude and the direction, we find both at once, uh, for uh, a, a moment. And so this is particularly useful when we're dealing with complex problems in three dimensions, uh, where finding the scalar operations, finding these minimum distances is rather difficult. Uh, so in, in vector form, our equation is the following. So the moment vector, uh, is going to be equal to R cross F. And <clears throat> each of these items is a, a vector, and each one's going to have three components. Um, so even if we do a 2D problem, we say the, the Z component in each of those is going to be zero. Um, so M equals R cross F. All right, so if we have a, a setup like this, we've got uh, kind of our, our lever that we had before. Um, so we've got point A down here on the lever and we're pushing with this force up here. The moment uh, that, we're, that this force F is exerting about point A is going to be R cross F, where F is the force vector. Um, so that's just going to have an X, Y, and Z component uh, for the force. Uh, the R vector is the new one to this. All right, so R is a vector going from the point, so whatever point we're looking at, the moment about point A in this case, uh, we wanna go from this point to somewhere on the line of action. And the nice thing with the vector operation is it doesn't matter where we go to. We go to somewhere that's convenient, uh, somewhere where we already know the dimension. So I'm going from this point, I've got this R vector, it's got X, Y, and Z components, and I go out to some point on the line of action. All right. And order in this operation is important. R cross F is not going to be the same thing as F cross R. Uh, it's not simply multiplication. All right. <clears throat> and so once we do that calculation, we're going to find uh, that the moment vector is actually going to be, for a 2D problem, it'll be in the Z direction. Uh, and that's because in our, using our right-hand rule, uh, we had this kind of, it would cause a uh, counterclockwise rotation, a positive rotation, and that's a positive rotation. My thumb is pointing in that Z direction. Uh, that moment vector is always going to be perpendicular to both the F vector and the R vector. That's the way the cross product operation works. All right, so <clears throat> the vector method really shines uh, when the directions are complex and when finding the minimum distance is difficult. So. Here's a problem, I've got kind of like a telephone pole, it's 15 feet tall. The top of the pole, it's got a tether to the ground. Uh, I know it's kind of three feet this way and 15 feet back, and I know the tension in the cable. Uh, finding the moment that that tension force exerts about the base of my telephone pole would be really difficult uh, because I, number one, I'd need to find the minimum distance. And so the minimum distance is not this, it's not to the base, it's gonna be somewhere in the middle, and it's going to be a big, complicated 3D geometry problem to find that. But with the R cross F method, we can say, you know, this is my force, I still need to find the X, Y, Z component of that, but I can do, for the R vector, I can say, you know, just, I go um, <clears throat> 3 over in the X direction, and I go negative 15 in the Z direction to get back to this point, or I also could just go positive 15 up to the top of the cable right here. Either one of those two directions is a, a valid R vector. And having a computer also can uh, make this really easy as well. 
So once I have R and F, I need to do the, uh, the cross product. There's ways to do that by hand, uh, but it takes a long time. And really where we want to use this is when we have a computer available that can do the cross product for us in seconds. Um, so on the adaptive map tool, I've got a link to a vector operation calculator and a cross product calculator is part of that uh, piece there. All right, so that's all I have for uh, this video lecture. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.